Hey guys, it's Amelia from KAC. As you all know, we're each doing segments of our own. Carla's doing drawing, Christina is doing photography, and I am going to do what I love to do. K-pop. Okay, so if you don't like K-pop, Please don't click out of this video. Just hear what I have to say. So let me give you a little breakdown of what K-pop is. So K-pop itself is not really a genre. It's just more of Korean pop music. In each segment, which I think I'm going to be doing at least once a month or maybe twice a month, I'm going to be doing K-pop So this month, you know I gotta do this, but is EXO! EXO is a southern Southern Korean slash Chinese boy band based in Seoul, South Korea. When they started, they had 12 members. Currently, there are 9. So, I'm gonna be going by years. EXO came to be in May of 2011. It was an idea that SM Entertainment, which over there they have like entertainment like industries, and SM is one of the big three. SM in May was like we got to think of a new boy band. And in December of that year, that is when they announced that there would be a group called EXO. So in 2012, EXO's prologue song, What Is Love? What Is Love? was released on January 30th of 2012. And EXO itself was divided into two subgroups, XOK and XOM, standing for Korean and Mandarin, which is Chinese. And then on March 9th, they released their second prologue song history they had like songs come out before they even debuted and when i first got into them i was confused because i was like wait this is like this is their debut song but these are other songs that came before like this doesn't make any sense and then finally they released their debut song mama on april 8th of 2012 so when the first song came out each both the korean and chinese songs reached peaked high in the charts for both of their countries and XOK was nominated for three awards at the 27th Golden Disc winning the Newcomers Award. Guys, that's like winning a participation award at a science fair, kind of. I don't know, that's how I see it. Anyway, continuing on into 2013, their first studio album was released June 3rd of 2013 and it was called XOXO both in, again, I said Korean and Chinese. And then they had, they do things called repackaged. It's basically all the songs from the album that they released. And then the repackaged of XOXO was Growl. Anyway, and that was released August 5th, 2013. It peaked many of the charts. All XOXO albums were collectible and sold over 1 million copies, making EXO the first Korean artist to sell over 1 million copies of one album in 12 years and the fastest selling K-pop act of all time. Anyway, I have a little info of this. In XOXO, the main song, the music video that came out was, was Wolf. Wolf, they have music shows where they live. All these music shows and their first win was with Wolf. They were super happy and everything and then they just kept going on. Now we move on to 2014. Did I mention that Mama was their first mini album? EXO's second mini album was released May 7th of 2014. It was really supposed to release April 21st, but because of the ferry incident on April 16th, they delayed it. Yeah, that was a really sad incident. A lot of people died. I'm just gonna say right now, the year 2014 was not a good year for K-pop and Korea in general. Like, just forewarning you. Overdose was promoted just like Mama. The Korean edition peaked to number two on the Billboard World charts and number 129 on the Billboard 200. Overdose became the best-selling album in South Korea in 2014. Honestly, that was... That was a good album. That was a really good album. On May 15, 2014, it was confirmed that XOM's leader, Chris, had filed a lawsuit against the agency and wanted to terminate his contract due to his human rights being violated. Yeah, it was not a good year. Right after Overdose came out, he was like, peace, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave. And then to get even worse, October 10th, XOM Luhan also filed lawsuit to nullify his contract 
SM announced that EXO would promote with only 10 members. Like I said, it wasn't a good year for EXO. I mean, the songs, they did very well, but it it just wasn't a good year for like the members itself. And like, I can't blame them. You're probably like, oh my God, why did they need? Bunch of you in K-pop already knows. The thing is with the Korean industries, they aren't very well like with giving their idols a break. Their idols are always doing something. So they, they were just tired and frustrated and just wanted to like stop it all. I forgot to also mention that in 2013, they released their first winter album, which was called Miracles in December. And that song was amazing. It was so cute. 2014, unfortunately, did not come out with the mini album they were supposed to, but due to Chris and Luhan leaving, they didn't, so they just released the song. And yeah, that was it. Going into 2015. Okay, this is where I come in because this is where I got into K-pop or I like actually got into this group because I knew about them but I really didn't care about them at the same time like I liked the songs and it just didn't care about the members so here we go so EXO's first solo concert was announced on January 2015 entitled EXO Planet number two the EXOLUTION starting March 7th on February 4th SM filed a countersuit against Chris and Luan for legally continuing their promotion in China so they kind of left and were like, peace, we're not gonna deal with you. EXO's second album, Exodus, was released on March 30th of 2015. Oh my gosh, I love this song. 50,000 albums were sold within the first 24 hours. The title track, Call Me Baby, was released on March 27th due to leaked versions of the song. I remember that. Like, that's never really been done before. They put all the songs out to say, hey, this is this is ours, this is not yours. So they put out the songs already and then they released the music video. Call Me Baby won 18 times on music shows in South Korea. On April 22nd, 2015, Tao's father posted a weeaboo. Weeaboo, weeab, weeaboo, or weeaboo, weeaboo, weeaboo. <laughs> Whatever is like a Chinese Facebook almost. Like, like, it's kind of like Instagram, but for China, I, I don't honestly don't know. Expressing his sentiment for his son to withdraw from EXO and to return to China. So basically, Tao had injured himself, and I remember, if I remember correctly, he was only able to perform on one of the music shows, and then the rest, like, his foot was really messed up, and his dad just wanted him to come home. So after that, he left the group. And continuing on to August 24th, Tao's contract was officially terminated, so Tao was out of the group, and now EXO was only promoting with nine members. On June 3rd, the repackaged album called Love Me Love It was only promoted as nine members due to Tao leaving. And I remember this. The stuff really came out on June 2nd. I was like, where's Tao? And it's like, oh, he left. EXO's love concert in the dome. Tickets were on sale from September 21st, causing the server to delay for 50 minutes. EXO came out with their first official light stick. I officially... I actually don't have the light stick, which makes me really sad. November 4th, EXO released their Japanese single, Love Me Life, Romantic Universe, and original song title, Drop That. As part of EXOLUTION Tour, EXO performed for 450 fans in the Tokyo Dome from November 6th, breaking records of the shortest amount of time. Since debut, November 9th, EXO released a single called Lightsaber to promote the release of Star Wars The Force Awakens. And Luhan also made a song for the movie. December 10th, EXO released second special album and fourth extended play song, Sing For You. They basically released a winter album, Sing For You. I have that album too. And in greater news, EXO was the first K-pop group to be released to be on Apple Music's homepage and they were under best of the week. So I'm gonna stop right here because I don't want to overwhelm you with too much information. I hope you like these segments that we're doing. Um, I really like my friend's drawing, my friend's photography. I don't know if you'll like me. Please like me. But if you want me to talk about a certain K-pop group or any actual band in general, I'll do it. Like, I'll do it, okay? I, I got you, fam. So, give the video a thumbs up, comment below on what other things, other bands, you would like me to give you information about. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!